All right, so I got two packages from Hibbit Sports. Uh, shout out to them. They're gonna be sponsoring this video, but we're gonna go ahead and show you guys two pairs of these shoes and then review one of them. And then I think I'm gonna hold off on the other one for another video. Let's go ahead and jump in. What's going on guys, Hass here, collectivekicks.com. Hopefully you guys are having a good day out there. If you guys haven't used my website yet, Collective Kicks, go ahead and check that out in the description. Uh, again, this video is gonna be sponsored by Hibbit Sports. They're a monthly sponsor on this channel. It's been a long-standing partnership that I've had with them and I'm super, super thankful for them. But uh, they sent me over two pairs of sneakers right here. If you haven't heard of Hibbit Sports, it's an online retailer space as well as a brick and mortar with over a thousand stores. They also have a nice app as well with, I believe they have a nice sale going on, 50% off sale on some sneakers, so worth checking out. But their release calendar is really nice as well. And recently they just had the Nike Dunks drop on their side as well as they get Yeezys and Jordans and stuff like that. So definitely worth bookmarking if you don't thus far. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they said. Right, so we got one pair here we got the second one they're so good about getting my sizes right too I always love uh, when that happens because it's always confusing when there is a women's pair and a men's pair so this is a women's size 11 but it's a 9.5 in men's uh, from Nike and, and Jordan brand and we'll start off with this one because this is one actually I really want to see I, I really want to see both of these actually but this is the one that just released man that is crazy. Okay, so we have the silver toes right here. So this is the women's uh, colorway right here. Ooh. I gotta say, man. I gotta say, I'm definitely feeling this colorway a lot. They, uh, and the materials are, are good too. This is a nice plus. They have this uh, metallic uh, hang tag right here with the Nike Air. In hand, I gotta say that these things are super, super nice. I love the, the look of them. First of all, the color blocking is really nice, but uh, the materials are actually really pretty dope too. Anytime you have a metallic finish on a pair of Jordans or Nikes or any shoe really, it's really kind of tricky to know what you're gonna get in person because images don't do the shoe any justice. You don't know if this is gonna feel more plasticky or leather-like or is it gonna be mustardy if it's like a gold? Like, so this is a really nice shiny looking like silver and uh, it looks really good, but it's not like plasticky. It's definitely soft to the touch, like a leather. And I'm sure it's like a foiled leather or something like that. I'll, I'll read the description from what Nike says in a minute, but, but the black leather trim is actually really soft and buttery too. So that was a really nice thing to be able to see right here. I was wondering about that as well. This is nice and soft the overall color blocking again super super clean super nice and i love what they have here so i'm gonna get into that one second but i do want to see what this other one looks like because there's had a lot of issues with quality i guess on these and here we have a pair of the carmine air jordan sixes this is unlike the last retro though because you do have that nike air branding on the back so a lot of people were pretty excited for that so these retroed in the countdown pack first years ago when i had a pair of those then the last retro had the jump man on the back as well and now this is the first time uh, with the return of the nike air branding and for those that didn't know nike and jordan brand are kind of synonymous uh, obviously with the Nike Air on the Air Jordan 1s, but from the Air Jordans like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7s, they had Nike Air branding originally on them when they released, but since then, I don't remember exactly what year, I don't know if it was this 8 or 9, but uh, Jordan brand actually separated it to its own entity, and the headquarters is still in Beaverton, Oregon for both of them, but it's just one of the things where it's actually just a separate entity, and so they took away the Nike branding on all of the shoes and that's why uh seeing the nike air branding back on it in its original form is just one of those things that i guess older collectors usually like personally i never had the originals i only had the ones with the Jumpman because i couldn't afford the originals back in the day but for some of those collectors they do like to have that true to original form and i can totally see and get why they would want that now one of the things that some people were not feeling about the shoe is the midsole now i don't know if it's actually true and they actually recalled a bunch of these or not but the midsole has kind of a faint pinkish sort of hue to it. And I'd say that my pair does have that as well, but it's not anything like crazy distracting to me. I don't know necessarily why it was so like a, such a big deal. If, if you guys know more details about why people were like up in arms about the midsoles, uh, drop a comment because I honestly, I thought it was just because of the paint, but seeing them in person, yeah, it's a little pinkish, but it doesn't take away from uh, the shoe. I think the still the shoe looked really good. And it's always great to see an original colorway come back 
in its original kind of shape and form. So that's just a quick look at the Carmines though. If you guys want a detailed review of those, leave a comment and let me know. But uh, happy that they sent those over. It was one of those shoes that I actually struck out on sneakers. So super stoked that they had a pair for me. Anyways, we'll spend the rest of the video talking about these because this is the primary shoe that is just most recently released. From Jordan Brand's words, it says, this women's release offers a twist on the Air Jordan 1 gold toe switching out that patent gold from that model to the crinkled silver with inspiration coming from space innovation and future of flight the shoes color blocking balances genuine black leather overlays on the toe tongue and collar with a white quarter panel and midsole and crinkle silver details on the ankle heel and toe box short and sweet that's what jordan brand says they do also come with some silver laces which is obviously a nice little addition you could actually do black and silver laces and just do both of them uh, intertwined through I bet that would look pretty dope but um, honestly the silver on the shoe itself just pops just fine uh, so you might not even need those on there and you can see the color blocking on these are very similar to like the shattered backboards where you have that orange around the quarter panel as it says and then also the orange on the toe box you have the silver crinkle or the crinkle silver uh, on the back panel and then also on the toe box the difference obviously on the soles they did orange on here and on this one they did black which obviously is more fitting because the silver on the soles would probably look a little bit off also i guess on the tongue this one features a little bit of orange and this one has just white and also this jordan retro has that same sort of similar color blocking as the shattered backboards so this is just another air jordan retro where the color blocking is simple and clean and it looks good and it kind of reminds you of something familiar but in the end it's just something completely new and i love uh, the detailings on the shoe. I knew I was gonna like this shoe once I got it in person, but honestly, I was just really skeptical of the materials and how it was actually gonna be. But happy to say the leathers are actually really nice. And, and that black leather, again, is just super, super good. It's better than the black leather on the shattered backboard. And I know some people are gonna be shocked in me saying like, better leather than the shattered backboards, but it's the black leather that's better. The cream and the orange leather on here is super, super cush, super nice, but the black leather is definitely the, the leather that's lacking on the shattered backboards. And in this pair, it's the leather that actually shines through. Really, really good uh, quality on it. Uh, and leave a comment in the comment section. Did you guys feel the same way when you got these in hand? I just can't stop touching it. It's so buttery and nice. One other subtle detail that I really like that sets us apart from some of the others is that satin liner on the collar of the shoe as well as on the reverse side of the tongue. I love that. It's a woman's shoe and so they're gonna probably treat it like a little bit better, I guess. I don't know. But they get that, that uh, satiny, velvety sort of feel on that liner and it feels luxurious and beautiful and wonderful. This is one of those colorways that I think looks super good in hand. You guys be the judge on feet. Is it something that looks good on feet or not? But I think these are looking pretty good. One of the better colorways uh, to drop in recent times, at least in my opinion, and uh, super stoked that I got them. Now, again, that sizing conversion, women's size 11 is a men's nine and a half. So if you have 11 and a half women's, it's a size 10 men's and so on. So for those people that need that, it's a little bit confusing because if you have youth sizes, the U sizes with the Y, so like a seven Y is an example, is actually a seven men's. So I don't know, for those people that need that, that coaching on the sizing, women's sizes are not the same as kid sizes or youth sizes. So uh, there is a, a difference in, in the sizing. And honestly, we should just do Euro sizing because it makes the most sense. These are a size 43 in Euro, which is the one that I would be wearing. So anyway, that's a quick look at the silver toes. Definitely uh, something that was on my radar and super stoked. Uh, that I got a pair because I'm, I mean, I'm really, really like the way these look. Thank you again, Hibbit Sports, for sponsoring this video. Again, if you guys are interested in shopping on their website or downloading the app, check the link in the description. But shout out to Wendy and the team over on the other coast that um, are always looking out for me. You guys rock. But uh, thank you again for stopping by and watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video if you guys can. And subscribe if you guys are newer to my channel. I definitely will be posting more uh, videos for you guys coming up. And have a good rest of the day. And hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more videos. Peace, guys.